So the rooms at All Star Sports are the last of the All Stars to be refurbed. This room has not been refurbed yet. Um, it looks like they are working on a few buildings right now. Um, so things are different than last time I stayed here in 2000. 17 sorry i had to think about that um we got the two beds the remote that has been sanitized the phone um none of the resorts have had alarm clocks for quite some time now which is kind of disappointing cute poster of mini playing tennis a nice size tv and mini fridge the fridge is about the same size as the new um fridges and they also have the coffee maker that is at all of the um value resorts i guess that we've all the value resorts we've stayed at um since they've reopened coffee tea cups creamer sugar um two chairs and a table a nice little mirror hi there is um, the trash and recycling can, some storage underneath the TV. Um, this is where, you know, if you were staying next to someone, the connecting room would be. And then some hooks for backpacks, coats, whatever, with some characters. Still have the uh, curtain to divide the room with characters on it as well i will say that i do like that the new refurb rooms have um the pocket door for that section but you know this room still the, this building hasn't been redone yet got the sink some storage up there safe iron ironing board some hangers and some cute um sports like wallpaper kind of border at the top all right, and then in the bathroom, still the standard toilet and shower, still with the shower curtain um, with Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, Donald, uh, and Goofy's down there too. Um, and then, you know, standard shower with the H2O shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Um, one thing I will note about the room also, because it has not been refurbed, there are... As far as I can see, no USB um, plugs. Good thing I brought an actual plug. Um, but it's still, uh, these rooms, um, I wanna say 1994, 1996, they're still very cute and they're the last ones left. So um, yeah. Here at buildings four and five is Center Court, aptly named because Donald is here looking very angry playing tennis with nobody but Huey, Dewey, and Louie are here playing some baseball it's got tennis rackets tennis balls the big what is it umpire, umpire referee whatever it is in tennis I don't watch tennis unless it's in the Olympics I'm not gonna lie but yeah it's like you know it's it's turf kids can come and run around and we are up on the third floor um, this resort, they have three floors, unlike Pop Century, which has four floors. Buildings number two and three, as you can see, are the Hoops Hotel, basketballs, basketball hoops, giant basketball hoops, giant whistles. With, you can see the little ball in the whistle the, that vibrates to make the noise. That's pretty cute. And then uh, megaphones on the ends. One and six are surfs up. Got the lifeguard shack. This looks like some comfy chairs when they're not totally sunny. Surfboards and some fishies. And then in the middle here is the pool. Go check that out. As we're walking down the boardwalk looking sidewalk, Sharon, who's here with me, pointed out that here in the surfs up section, there are seashells in with whatever those plants are. I'm not sure what those are. So in the middle of the surf's up section, there is the surfboard bay pool, which is right behind the uh, lobby area. There is um, bathrooms and guest laundry over in the surf's up bathhouse. Um, there's the grandstand spirits, which is the pool bar, and then the end zone uh, food court. Buildings uh, seven and 10 are touched down and they are currently under construction. 
but as you can see they've got you know the like um yard markings footballs and then the football field and helmets here in the middle we actually stayed in building 10 the last time we stayed here and it's pretty cool looking another good area to come over and let your kids run around because this middle area is open even though the uh, buildings are being worked on at the moment We've made it over to the last of the buildings um, which is the baseball um, home run hotel it says it right there in front of my face um, you got the stands, the giant scoreboard, baseballs, baseball bats, um, banners with teams, and you can see up there, let me zoom in, Pittsburgh Pirates, yay! And then here in the middle, there, this is, I think might be the coolest part. If you look at the giant Coca-Cola cup, the walkway goes through the cup. That's pretty cool. But then also in the middle here, we have the Grand Slam pool. Yes, I read that off that sign. I'm awesome. Um, where we've got Goofy in the middle. I think we'll walk around, see if we can get a better view of Goofy. I mean, we can walk into the pool area and look at it. We are staying here. Um, and then over there is the uh, bathrooms and the other guest laundry. Here in the middle, we have Goofy with a cannon, gonna shoot some baseball. So as we walked around to this side of the pool, it is shaped like a baseball diamond complete with home plate and the bases. Here we have the end zone food court where of course at, at all the resort food courts you can order ahead, get your cheeseburgers or if you're here breakfast, ice cream, all that good stuff. And of course through the lobby there are pictures of, well, athletes. This is all-star sports. Don't ask me to name anybody except Tony Hawk apparently. I do know him. <laughs> uh, Wayne Gretzky's up there too. <laughs> but yeah. In the lobby you can watch some Disney cartoons while you wait for your ride or your room to be ready and there's always cast members at the desk around the clock ready to help you with anything you might need. In the gift shop you have sports stuff. There's some sports center, center sorry, some ESPN, um, there's some turning red, there's some 50th stuff at the front, some all-star resort specific, and then some stuff that you'll find probably in every resort um, as well as at the parks and at Disney Springs. Um, there's not a whole lot of resort specific stuff here. There is more all-star stuff than there used to be however. You can get yourself a 50th pin. Front, we have the bus stop with the um, boards to tell you when the buses are coming and hot sun to stand in, wait for the buses in. So, between the Surf's Up building and the Touchdown building, you kind of got to go this in between path, but there is a playground just like at all of the resorts, and it looks like a pretty nice one. For those of you who are like me and like to start or end your day with a run or a walk, uh, you can do so while staying at All Star Sports using the Run Disney jogging trail that runs along uh, the front of the three All Star Resorts. It is one mile in each direction, so you can uh, you can string a couple of miles together. I did at one point run a half marathon in front of here when the 2017 half marathon was canceled 